So let's be a bit practical. You are a, a pro in marketing. Give us some some, little, some tips, some marketing tips, you know, because I'm sure I'm sure uh, the audience will expect that. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> always expects yeah. tips in marketing. Oh, can I do better in social media? You know, how oh, can I get more likes and shares? What about my, my website, etc.? Yeah, absolutely. So let's start with a, a super broad thing, and then we'll yeah. get very specific. So, number one is what is the definition of marketing? And this is where Lauren, I think, so many people mess up. They assume that marketing and advertising are the same thing, mm. that marketing and advertising is the same thing, and they're not. Advertising is merely a piece or a component of marketing. And so there's a lot of great definitions of marketing. The one we love to use is this. Marketing is your ability to attract and to keep a customer, to attract and to keep a customer. Mm -hmm. So the attraction side is often the advertising side. The keeping side is where... I believe most people completely screw up and most people completely <laughs> ignore. So if I were to survey everyone listening and say, you know, what percentage of your marketing budget goes to attracting people and what percentage of your marketing budget goes to keeping? And when I say the word keeping, what I mean is how do we take existing customers, existing clients and turn them into evangelists for our brand? Yeah. How do we do that? And when I survey people and ask that question, usually 95 plus percent of the budget goes to attracting new people and 5% or less goes to keeping. And this is what I would say is that we live in a world Lauren, where every single person just about on the entire planet has this little device that they carry in their purse or their pocket or their backpack or wherever it may be called a smartphone. Yeah. And on this smartphone, literally within seconds, they have the ability to broadcast their beliefs about our products, our services, our company to the world, right? So they can put it on social media, they can email their friends, they can text their friends, they can reach a lot of people. And yet as marketers, what are we doing about this? What are we doing to convert existing customers, existing clients into evangelists who love us so much, who love our products and services so much that they're willing to go out and share positive messages about our products and services. And so big concept again, that's, that's the big picture, but I think it's so important. It's easy to hear what I just said and like, yeah, that's great. Like I, we should probably be doing that, but I would challenge those listening to spend some time reflecting on your marketing budget. What percent is going to attract and what percent is going to keeping? And regardless of what the equation is, Make a commitment to move people, move some of your budget from attracting to keeping. Now, it's the difference between the short-term game and the long-term game, mm -hmm. right? When you create evangelists, it's not a short-term game. And unfortunately, we live in a world, we live in this culture where we think so short-sighted, right? We don't think long-term. But if your goal is to build a business that's going to be here for the long run, that's going to be here in the long term, we have to shift our thinking, at least part of it, to what are we doing to keep and convert these people into evangelists for our company?